Tyler Green, Draymond Green, wants to play for Detroit. How do you love that segue, by the way? <laughs> I got to give you an A-plus for that one. That was an A-plus segue. Thank you. Thank you. You are you are awesome. I appreciate that. I needed that. So, anyways, I wouldn't hate him in Detroit. Defensively, he brings that communication. Detroit mm-hmm. is missing. He'll be able to tell guys where to go. He brings a winning mentality that Detroit hasn't had in years. Offensively, though, I think this is where people – People might disagree, but offensively, he I think he would allow Detroit to do some interesting things with Kate off the ball because you have, like, another playmaker, another communicator, mm-hmm. the guy that's directing traffic. You might see a whole nother level to Kate's offensive game. But what about you? You loving De- Draymond in Detroit, or are you just passing? You know, this is such a – like, you could take the casual approach with this, or you could, you know, say, you know, like, let's actually break this down for a second. I think the casual approach is I'm not paying him all that money. I mean, that that's all I saw when I, I did post it on Twitter. I don't want to pay Draymond all that money. He's not worth that money. He's, I think, 33, I believe. But it would be pretty foolish to say you wouldn't want Draymond Green in Detroit because I think he's a four-time NBA champion. Uh, he knows what it takes to win. Uh, you know, former Michigan State alum, go green. <laughs> Had to get that in there. Um but, like, to say you wouldn't want him in Detroit, it's just like, yeah, I get the money part. I get all that. But it's just like, I don't think he would come now. I think what Draymond was saying is, like, you know, later on in my career, kind of like how, you know, Pistons are notorious for this, by the way. I know I'm getting off track of getting players way past their prime, you know, to come mentor. Um, I, I think he would bring a certain element that the Pistons don't have. They don't really have that dog mentality right now. I just don't think they do. I think there's certain players on this roster that do, but I don't think they have that intensity like Draymond has. Like, we have dogs, don't get me wrong, but not to the level of Draymond Green where he's cussing you out on the sidelines when the coach is talking. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's the type of guy that's going to get the most out of you because he demands yeah. the most out of you. You know, he's an extension of the of the coaches on the floor. That's who he is. The, it's funny that you bring up, like, people don't want Draymond Green. And the biggest thing – The one thing that I've always heard about Draymond is he doesn't shoot the ball. He can't score, blah, blah. Dude, you know what? Every There's problems with every single professional basketball player. Nobody is a perfect player. Like, Draymond Green brings so much on the offensive side, outside of shooting, outside of scoring. Like, we've already talked about it. He's a great communicator. He's a playmaker. He's a guy that's willing to sacrifice the individual numbers for the greater good of the team. Why would you not want that on the team? You know, I mean, I, I, I don't get it. And plus, defensively, we already know what he brings. Not only that, I mean, you, you look at what he does out of dribble handoffs. And we see Isaiah Stewart try to learn dribble handoffs going into his third year. Dribble handoffs take a long time uh, to learn. You got to know where certain players like to go. You got to know when to set a pick. You got to know where everyone's going to be at. I mean, there's a reason why he averages so many assists. He's one of the best dribble handoff players in the NBA, in my opinion, I think defensively, like you said, he's versatile. We've seen him in, you know, multiple NBA finals, guarding the best player, um, getting taxed by LeBron James in 2016. I mean, like, I, I just love Draymond Green. I mean, you you cannot tell me he would not make the Detroit Pistons better today because he would. But like I said, it's, it's a very fun, trivial topic. I, I think that, you know, this time of year, we'd like to have these kind of debates whether you know the Pistons should go in on Draymond Green right now I don't think it's right now thing I think it's in the future he's always said that like even when Van Gundy was here what we tried to get him you know like he, he thought about it but like obviously he made the right choice thing and Golden State went in those chips but I think it's going to be down the road when he's a little bit older maybe you know when he's 37 38 he's gonna you know come here to Detroit and by then the Pistons should be Eastern Conference competitors each and every year I think having him on the team now, though, would be so much fun, especially him Mm -hmm. playing like that small ball five. Because, again, just the lineup. He's just – the reason I love Draymond Green, and I'm just – I'll end it with this before we get into this mock trade that someone brought up because this is still such a fun topic. The reason I love Draymond Green is because, dude, it's like having him on your team is almost like having a video game character because he just Mm -hmm. allows you to do so much offensively and defensively. Like those lineups where you could put – Andre Godala in at like the four or the three with Kevin Durant, have Draymond play the five. Everybody can everybody can at least take three pointers. Everybody can move. Everybody can pass. It's yeah. truly positionless basketball. That's what he brings to you. And I, I just think it's foolish when fans say they don't want a guy like Draymond. 
go on if you i could hear the <gasps> yeah it's just it's just like i get it from like a contract standpoint and a salary standpoint you, you kind of look at what he has left on his deal and what do you what you think and what you expect out of him which i can understand from a, a fan standpoint why am i gonna pay a guy that's you know in his 30s because a lot of people like it'll just be like blake griffin you know a guy a guy that's older that you know uh, probably will get hurt and we're going to pay him a bunch of money and he's on the bench half the time. So I get it from that standpoint and I could see why some fans get that PTSD when they look at a player of Draymond Green. But, you know, it, it's like I said, it's it's not going to be a right now. It's going to be down the road. Like I would bet money on it that Draymond Green is going to be in a Pistons uniform to end his career.